I am Anil Kumar. We are trying to understand trigonometric ratios in the domain 0 to 360 degrees. Here we will consider cos of 225 degrees and answer these questions. State sign of trigonometric ratio. Determine value of the trigonometric ratio. Sketch angle and label principal and acute angle. Sketch another angle that has the equivalent ratio. Now, I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestion. We're given cos of 225 degrees. Let me start by sketching. It is easier to answer questions after having a kind of view of what we are trying to do. 225 degrees, this is always the principal angle given to us. So, measured from the positive x-axis, 225, we know this is 0. This is 90, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, right? So 225 is more than 180 and less than 275, somewhere in between. So we say, well, the angle is kind of in this place, correct? So we can make an arrow here showing that this terminal arm with the initial arm makes an angle of 225 degrees. So that angle is 225 degrees for us. Now let us answer the questions. First one is state sign of trigonometric ratio. As far as the signs are concerned, you know all are positive in quadrant 1, sine is positive in quadrant 2, tan in 3 and cosine is positive in quadrant 4. Cos of 225 we are in quadrant 3 therefore the sine will be negative. Is it okay? So negative sign. Then we have determine value of trigonometric ratio. For this, we can use our calculator. So we'll use calculator and say cos of 225 is equal to, so we get minus square root 2 over 2. So that could be the value which we could write. So let's write that value. Determine value of the trigonometric ratio. So it's minus square root 2 over 2, right? Or if required in decimals, we can change and write this as equal to minus 0 0.7071, correct? So either way, you can write down this value using calculator. Now next part is sketch angle and label principal and acute angle. We have already sketched the red arrow shows the principal angle, right? So we have here the principal angle, which is for us theta equals to 225 degrees and now let us find what is the acute angle now to find the acute angle what we should do is we should always measure it with the horizontal right so that is the acute angle acute angle is always less than 90 and it is the angle made by the terminal arm and the horizontal axis right so in this case it is 225 degrees minus 180 degrees correct so that is the acute angle beta for us correct so once you do that you get 45 degrees right so that becomes the acute angle 45 degrees okay sketch another angle that has the equivalent ratio now we are working with cosine cos is negative in quadrant 3 cos is also negative in quadrant 2 and therefore to sketch the equivalent angle we should maintain the related acute angle and sketch a terminal arm in quadrant 2, correct? Where this angle is also 45 degrees. Now, the principal angle is how much? That is the principal angle. So, let me call this angle as phi and this phi for us is 180 degrees minus 45 degrees, correct? And that is 135 degrees. So that becomes another acute angle, I should say, another angle, principal angle, which gives us the same result. So let us check. So what we can do here is, now we can calculate the value. What is cos of 135 degrees, right? Let us check. So we'll again use the calculator and say cos of 135 degrees is equal to minus square root 2 over 2. So we get the same answer, minus square root 2 over 2. Well, this is the exact answer which is normally a good answer to write. If you remember 
your special triangles you could also do this and get the same answer the special triangle we're talking about is the triangle which has angles as 45 degrees each equal sides that means square root 2 and square root 2 and the hypotenuse is 2 so that gives you the value of the cosine right adjacent over hypotenuse so it is square root 2 over 2 since we are in quadrant 2 or 3 its value is negative in nature so that gives you a very good picture of how to see your trigonometric ratios in the domain 0 to 360 degrees. I hope that helps. Thank you.